So being that this project is worth quite a large percentage of my mark, I probably should do it. And one of two reasons you clicked on this video was because A, you're either my professor and have to mark this, and in that case, I feel bad for you, or you actually clicked on it wanting to know conventional television is dead. In reality, then I don't feel bad for you. So, yeah. Vic, can you roll the intro? Uh, we don't have one. Oh, um. I kind of got into this new show on Netflix, The Orange is the New Black. It's really good. You have to watch it. Okay, um, can you go, like, we don't have time, maybe pay for somebody to do it or something, it doesn't matter. Okay, give me a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, I'll wait here. Okay. 24 hours later. My name is Ryan McDonald, I'm a student at Mohawk College, but I'm pretty sure you can already tell by that down there. It's cool, it's called Lower Thirds. See, I can do things like this, watch. BOOM! HEADSHOT! <coughs> Sorry. With Netflix, Amazon Prime, and iTunes now pretty much becoming one with our daily lives, is conventional TV died? Well, let's go into a little bit of a backstory about the television. The first television was a spin-off creation Philio Taylor Fransworth in 1927. Not the original creator, but he spun off to what we know today as the television. The first television station started rolling out in the late 1920s and early 30s. Let's fast forward a little bit to 1997. 1997, Netflix was created. What is Netflix? Well, if you haven't been living under a rock, you would know. Back in that time, the internet wasn't really strong enough for streaming services. So, Netflix being what they are, what they decided to do was you pretty much mail away a movie. So, pretty much like a large scale jungle video. In reality, who now watches DVDs anymore? But nowadays, with my MacBook, my iPad, as well as my iPhone, I don't have a disk drive. So, I'm just going to stream everything off of Netflix onto my phone or any mobile device. This is the same monthly price and I can watch as much as I want and not have to wait for those movies to be mailed in. In 2014, Digital Trends reported on how the television will be dead in the next 16 years. Reed Hastings, the CEO of Netflix, said, It's not very relevant. There's so much viewing that happens on a mobile phone or an iPad that Nielsen won't capture. It's kind of like the horse, you know, the horse was good until we had the car. The age of broadcast TV will probably last until 2030. His point of view could have been a biased opinion of what Mr. Hastings actually wanted us to think. Over the past couple of years, there's a term known as cable cutters. What are they? All they are is essentially where they cut TV totally out of their lives and go for stronger internet packages for streaming. The biggest thing TV has over streaming services is live events. But companies with like Roku and Apple TV have turned that around by making other major companies such as Disney, making apps for ESPN and news now more available. So all you do is pay their package at a cheaper discount than what TV is charging. With TV just not cutting it anymore, being that it feels like forever for shows to come on or that the new season of Game of Thrones is on really late at night. And if you're like me, a student and have 8 a.m. classes, thanks college, you have to miss or go to bed late due to not being able to watch the shows. With so many people these days streaming shows for free, don't lie, everybody does it, me. You see where everything comes from. With these types of streams, you still have to wait to the next day. And if you're one of those people with those weird countdowns to remind you of when the show comes on anyways, it's not going to matter, you just wait one extra day. In reality, over the past couple of years, I've completely switched off from major providers. With my bills nearly hitting almost $700 a month with them, and now I'm down to $300 by getting rid of things such as television, home phone, and internet, and cell phone providers. Now I'm only dealing with just cell phone and internet. What's that telling providers nowadays? Throughout the next couple of years, I feel like more and more people are actually gonna be starting to go this route. When I moved into my residence building, I brought my laptop and monitor with me, hoping to watch everything on there. 
I have a TV and in all honesty I never even noticed it. Now all it does is collect dust with its 15 channels and nothing else. It doesn't matter if you're Pickle Rick, Mr. White, Piper Chapman, or Sheldon Cooper, just to name a few. Television shows that are now being released out on dates are usually a lot of people are just waiting till the next day to stream it online for free anyways. For me, has conventional television died? Yes. I'm a student in college, so of course, with, armed with my laptop, my iPad, and my phone, I'm able to stream anything at any given time. I don't have much television, and I don't use one, have no reason to use one, and never will, just because of the resources I have. If you like this video, remember to hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell icon to make sure you're notified when I post a new video, and comment down below, as well as sharing this video to make sure everybody knows that why conventional TV is done. I'm Ryan McDonald signing off. See you guys in the next one.